Guys, welcome for another shit with me, El Chingon. Hope everyone's doing well. The one and only Chingon. <laughs> Bless you guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you very much for uh, everybody's comments on my birthday on Saturday. It was really an, uh, a joy to see everybody's comments. Everybody that uh, celebrated with me on uh, Instagram, YouTube. Thank you very much. On Facebook too. Thank you with all my heart. Cheers. IPA. This is a, a Ballast Point dedicated to the craft. And this is a, a brew from uh, Ballast Point Brewing Company. It's called Phantom IPA. India Pell L. And this is a local brew from San Diego, California. That's what it says right here in this blue box. I love IPAs. Bottle opener. I want to start off by saying thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you. Every one of you, thank you. Cheers. Great tasting IPA. Today's shave will be night shave. Connecticut Yankee, and this is from Razor Emporium, Heritage Shave Soap. This is not a review. I've done a review in the past for this soap. It's just a shave. I was going through my stuff, and I wanted to use this. It smells really nice. It has a citronella flower scent to it. it smells similar to uh, Katie's Bubbles Tarsenio Parlor. Very, uh, quite similar. Not to exact tea, but... It got that citronella scent to it, but the uh, Katie's Bubbles one has more of a citrus powdery scent. This one is ci citronella. I don't know what other notes does it have, but I know it has citr citronella. Connecticut Yankee based on the J.B. Williams Connecticut, Connecticut Yankee Shave Soap. <laughs> Classic performance with a tallow base and a citronella fra fragrance. Inspired by the original Williams formula of the early 1900s. And this is from Razor Emporium. Citrus. <laughs> Excuse me. Ingredients. <laughs> Stearic acid, water, tallow, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, fragrance, sodium hydroxide, and shea butter. And this comes from our West Shaving Products. Shaving products, excuse me. I'm sorry. Wet shaving products, WSP. And uh, WSP is uh, based out of Chandler, Arizona. 4.4 ounces of soap in here in this tin, metal tin. Really nice scent. That's the soap there. Tallow base, like I was uh, mentioning. Got my brush here soaking. My men, this is a Chicano Shaver mug. I'm going to be using my vintage, since this is inspired by a vintage soap. The uh, scent, I mean, I wanted to use a uh, vintage brush. So here it goes. I'm going to use my uh, Made Right vintage brush. Very old. I don't know how old it is, but I know it's a vintage. <laughs> I got this from uh, Steve Restorations. You know, I have nothing on the bottom but a number on there. I think it says three. No, excuse me, eight. Number eight on there. USA Sterilized Set and Rubber. Made right. And it has a uh, 22 millimeter Maggard's Badger. Two band. <laughs> Maggard. Hope everyone's doing well once again. <laughs> Cheers. You know what? I feel like having some menthol, so let me get some menthol. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to grab the Parasol. Parasol pre-shave. This gives any soap that you have that's non-menthol 
a menthol kick. I need that menthol kick right now. I just finished watching uh, No Mio Shaves, Leroy. And he used a uh, Uncle John soap that had menthol. I just finished watching it right now. So shout outs to the Nomio. I love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for being an awesome brother with me, for me, with me, along with me. I enjoy your videos very much. You're a great brother. Thank you. This West Shaving Community is great, guys. Awesome pair of uh, gentlemen. I've said it before in my videos, and I really mean that. Great guys in the West Shaving Community. And I, tr I trust Leroy very much. He's a great brother to me. Always has been from day one. So I'm giving you another shout out, bro. You deserve it. I remember last time uh, I saw Nomio's comment on one of my vid videos and he was like, another shout out? <laughs> so yeah, another shout out. Third shout out for you, brother. I'll shout you out as much as I uh, want. You're a great brother. I enjoy talking to you very much so. Just got out of work not too long ago, so decided to do a shave tonight. I'm home alone right now. My girlfriend went to go with a friend of uh, her mom's to go baby shopping for her son. Nice of uh Nice of her to take my uh, girlfriend out to go uh, get some baby stuff. Three days, guys, to go. So happy. I'm really excited. Really excited. My son's coming. Junior's coming on Friday. Three days. <laughs> Counting down the days. Really excited for that. Wearing the brush on so I can start my ladder. kind of foamy right now because uh, it just is <laughs> that's a really nice citrus citronella scent though this soap I haven't used it in a while and I just wanted to use it reminds me of Torsinio Parlor Creamy suds everywhere. <laughs> Not very much, but I don't like to get, let it go to waste as always. It's just so, but I don't care. I like to use all of it, all that I can. <laughs> Wait in the puck here so it can be, uh, Clean. Clean, clean, clean puck. I'm gonna set it here upside down in my towel that I got here. Oh, that menthol feels very good. I'm a menthol lover, I love menthol. Yeah, I was up last night trying to uh, get all my son's things together for his arrival when he comes home. We're going to be spending a couple days at the hospital since my girlfriend's having a cesarean. Which means they're going to cut her uh, stomach open. She's not, having it, she's not having a regular birth because my stepson was a uh, cesarean as well. So the doctor recommended for her to have another cesarean, not have it normal, so... That's what we're going to do. That's what's going to happen. This stuff is very slick. I'm having a hard time right now rinsing my hands. I got suds everywhere here in my sink because it was foamy and suds were dropping everywhere. It's a small knot, but it does the job. Ladder's like a champ. 
All right, here we go. Nice and pasty through the bristles. I don't have very many WSP soaps. I got this one that I bought a long time ago on eBay, I believe it was, as I remember. And the other one I got from Nomeo Shaves, Pumpkin Spice. And that was in the and that one's in the rustic formula, which is a regular base, regular offering they have. Awesome suds. This is called a uh, formula T formula, and the T is called is stands is for uh, tallow, tallow virgin. When the uh, lather here, I'm trying to get it as much hydrated as I can. Look at that, guys. Beautiful leather here. And this soap can take water. Lots of water. It just drinks. All right, I apologize for that. I had to make room for my, my phone. I got a bunch of videos I haven't deleted. The most recent ones. Let me add some water, more water to this. Beautiful, beautiful leather here. Look at that. Brush is caked. I highly recommend this soap. I'm going to be putting down the uh, video on my review for that so this soap here. On the bottom of my description so you guys can check it out if you guys are interested I don't know if they offer it but the, the, I knew they offer the, the I don't know if they offer this this scent still I, have, I didn't I did not check I apologize but uh this is the tea formula that they do offer on West Coast shaving products excuse me wet shaving products Pass one with the grain. <laughs> I got about a day's growth since I last shaved. I shaved on Saturday. So, two days growth. Really excited guys, really happy. I'm really happy from the birth of my son. It's been a long nine months. A long, long nine months for me and especially for my girlfriend. She's, she, had, she, she didn't have a uh, Nice experience, of course. It's really irritating to her, you know, uh, carrying a belly. Well, not not the baby, but I mean the experience. You know, the, the just it, it doesn't feel feel good to her, you know. And of course, I don't know because I'm not a woman, but that's the lather, guys. Look at that beautiful lather, very thick and creamy. This this soap is dense, as you can see. Very dense lather. But what I'm trying to say is she, uh, the last couple of months in her, in the pregnancy have not been really pleasing for her because, uh, of course the baby, oh, 
Give me a second. I don't want to kill myself, so give me a second, guys. Once again, the lather is great. So my girlfriend, the last couple of months have been really tough for her, for uh, to carry the baby. She's been having a lot of back problems. The baby is big. It's gonna be a big baby. <laughs> We're guessing it's gonna be a nine-pound baby. Eight and a half, nine pounds. That's my estimate. Because last time uh, we went to the doctor, he was six and a half. And that was about a month ago. And the baby was too big. This last, last ultrasound that we went, that she went to, I couldn't go because I was not working. But I couldn't, I couldn't take the time off because I had just recently took a day off to go with her for the first ultra, ultrasound and I just since I'm taking vacation for my uh, son I'm gonna have two weeks I just couldn't take the more time off so that pass went well the poche feel great poche feel don't feel like I need aftershave to tell you the truth feels really good Pass two of my brush. I got plenty here. Plenty for maybe two more passes at that. Well, hot air right now, so I don't need to add more water to it. This is fine where it's at. I really appreciate you guys sticking by with me. I really do. It really means a lot to me, guys. Thank you. Enough for another pass, maybe two. Pass two against the green. A badger hair. He when that happens. Smooth. there I went over I went too quick on there that and that uh, stroke there and cut myself so there's blood once again
the la this razor is still cutting, but not as as where I want it. I tried to uh, use it one more time to see. Oh. where the edge is and it definitely needs a home A lot of blood today. <laughs> Just on that one. It won't stop bleeding. I gotta use some uh, boo boo juice for that right now. I got blemishes on my face due to me always popping my pimples when I was younger. There's a little blemish right there. And I went over it. So let me get some boo-boo juice to uh, fix that. Fix right up. It's a great tool to have in the den if you cut yourself. I love this little spick big pencil. Comes in handy. Feel myself good. Won't stop bleeding. That's ha that's what happens when you're not careful. <laughs> I don't expect myself to cut myself today as bad, but it happens. Part of shaving. And more with the straight. Hopefully that that'll do it right there. Pass three. I'm gonna try to go over that right now. This is the last lathering for this pass. Pass around. I thought it would be more for another pass, but it's enough. Formula T is great stuff, guys. I highly recommend it for you guys to get some if you guys want some. Well, if you guys haven't tried it, it's great soap. Yeah, it's a little bit of water. It just blew up more when I added a little bit of water. I'm trying to not go over this cut here again. Yeah, it's due for a horn. This will be my last time I use it. This razor. More than likely, I'll ship it to Frank. He always takes care of me. I gotta send on my uh, Gold Dollar 66 from him too. That use a horn. I don't got stone, so 
and I'm not planning to hone my razors anytime soon, so I want to ship them out. Be careful here. Squeaky clean. <laughs> uh, that feels great. Cut's gone. Well, I mean, it's there, but it stopped bleeding, which is good. I'm telling you, that little pencil works, guys. I highly recommend you guys get some for those cuts. Very clean shave. Near BBS. With the exception of that cut. Chingon. <laughs> Went too hard on that stroke there and it got me. This is going to be slightly stinging. I know it. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you with all my heart. I'm not drunk, okay? I'm just letting you guys know I'm not. <laughs> I cut myself because I went too hard on that stroke. And plus, I have a blemish right there that I went over. Cheers, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I'm going to be doing another, another uh, giveaway pretty soon. I'm coming up to 300 subscribers. And I'm, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. If God permits, with time and, you know, everything goes well, I'll be doing another giveaway for 300 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate all the love and the support. Thank you, guys. To recap, first off, some Paraso Green, because I needed that menthol kick. <laughs> the soap that I was used today, Razor Emporium. Connecticut Yankee Heritage Shave Soap. And this is inspired by JB Williams Vintage Soap, which has a uh, citronella scent to it. This has citronella scent to it. Tallow base. Tallow uh, Formula T. The basis, if you guys are interested. Interested. What shaving products? My brush that's kicked in lather right here. My Made Right Badger. 22 millimeter maggots two band <laughs> made it says uh, made in the USA sterilized and set rubber awesome little brush I told you ladders like a champ <laughs> my gold daughter from Leroy baby Nomio and Nomio shaves thank you brother this is going out to be home pretty uh, soon as soon as I can, I'll send this out to Frank to get honed, but it's due for edge now. Uh, 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 Rehone. Fresh edge I need on it. And to top this off, I don't know what to top this off with. Let me see what I got here. You know, I haven't used this scent in a while. Let's go with some Gillette Cool Wave. This is a great scent here. It's one of my favorites here. Oh, this is going to sting. I know it is.
Not that bad. Just slightly, just a little bit. I don't see no hair on there. That was a great shave, guys. Thank you very much for joining me very much. I really appreciate you guys putting up with my long videos. Thank you very much, guys. Peace out. God bless. I'll try to uh, knock out another video. Probably before uh, Friday. I'll probably do a celebration for my son's birth. <laughs> Take care, guys. God bless.